was really something, in the, something else. I, you know, I went and visited their home. The father called me and, um, you know, boy, boy, boy. Let's go to it. First of all, accept my sympathy. And can I get your full name? Vanessa Augustine. Vanessa Augustine. Uh, and you are? Jerome Guevara. You're the grandfather of the child. Uh, yes, this I'm is your father. daughter. Right, you're the mother of the child. How old is your daughter? Fifteen. What exactly happened this afternoon? <sighs> yes, it was actually yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. I took her to her dad. Mm -hmm. Considering a situation we was dealing with, um, and he took the opportunity to discipline her. Mm -hmm. And he said he don't want me to be there to step outside, give him a few so minutes with her. This person attached to the army. Yes, he is. Okay. Uh huh. He's full. Uh, he's full corporal. Full corporal. Uh huh. And um. How old? How old is this child again? Fifteen. Okay. Her birthday so is next month. Sometimes you know, I, I'll be honest with you. I have. My son is 14, and sometimes, you know, these kids and them, you know, yeah. at that age... Teenage trouble. Teenage. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's teenage trouble. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want to go into details with that. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah, I don't want to go into details so with that. So, the father just... Part of the behavior of the child. I don't think that's necessary right now. Go ahead. So, the father asked me to take the opportunity to discipline her. Uh -huh. So, he will know the seriousness in behaving herself. Yeah. And I said, well, okay, okay. because he's our father, he loves her uh -huh. as much as I love her. In right. spite of we had our differences and we couldn't make it. Right. As a couple, we mm. separated, but we mm. never separate the kids. Uh -huh. and How many kids do you have with him? Two. Uh -huh. Aliana Fisher Alexander. Uh -huh. So I, um, I said, sure, no problem. Uh -huh. And he told me, bring her up yesterday evening. Uh -huh. And he told me, step outside and, mm -hmm. you know, go down the hill by his mom uh -huh. and, and relax where? myself a little bit in Claxton Bay. In Claxton Bay, uh-huh. Yeah. And, and then he walked back down the hill and he... How long after? Half an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, did you hear any noise or anything? <laughs> That's Nothing. Uh-huh, go ahead. Uh. And then... When he came down the hill to call me, he finished deal with her, disciplining her. Uh -huh. um, um, we Is this stood the first outside. time you, you had to take her dear to, for her daddy to talk to her? No. A couple of times? Yeah, but he never beat them. Yeah. Never uh -huh. beat these kids. Yeah. Okay. There was one, uh, one occasion where he pinched her yeah. and that hurt his, that yeah, hurt cried. him. He couldn't stand couldn't pinch. Stand, yeah. He said, when I say, see, when it comes to beating them, try and yeah. you do that. Yeah. It's not for me. Yeah. I love my girls too much and I would not hit. Right. <laughs> I can't yeah. stand hitting them. Mm -hmm. I said, sure, no problem. Go ahead. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he, when he called me, we were standing up outside talking. Mm -hmm. He said, Vanessa, we are going to ban her from her phone. We'll keep closer eye watch on her. And, you know, to show her, hey, well, the road you want to go wrong, it's wrong. It's wrong, right. Yeah, you grew up in Christ. Amen. Let's... Walk yeah. the straight and narrow, and there things will will tempt you. Say yeah. no to it and walk away. Yeah, you know. So <sighs> he was supposed to carry them to Bigo this weekend, right. and he said she will still enjoy herself. She yeah. will still go to Bigo, and everything will be okay. Yeah. I said okay, David. He said let me go and call her. She's sitting down inside, yeah. waiting on you. <laughs> she was not sitting. <laughs> When you walk inside, he shouts out my name, Vanessa. <laughs> Something wrong. I said, what? And I run inside. I drop on my knees. What you saw? My child on the ground, vomiting. <laughs> she was at vomit. Uh -huh. She had bruises on her skin and whatnot. And her both arms. Bruises, blue black. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. I said, David, what you do? What because happened? You've seen, you've seen, you've seen, you've seen marks of violence. Uh -huh. I tried to revive her. Mm. We was pumping her chest while he blowing her lungs. <laughs> we got out more of vomit. Mm. Come to her nose, her mouth. And 
She never respond. <laughs> I beg earlier, answer mommy. <laughs> Do something, say something. She never did. She never did. We call the ambulance. We call the ambulance. There were no ambulance to respond. So we took her in the car that I came with. I had her in my arms. <laughs> I tried to wake up <laughs> as I prayed and I called on Jesus. <laughs> she still never respond. She never opened her eyes. <laughs> when we went to the health center, they said, Mommy, your daughter is dead. <laughs> it still didn't register. I said, no, let them know that's not when happening. When she went to the health center and they saw those injuries, what they said? They said, mommy. You're going to call the police? This is a serious matter. You're going to call the police? I said, only wake up and then talk to me, please. Get her up first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they said, they do all what they could. She's already gone. Did you raise up her clothes and like her legs and her belly and whatnot? No, As, you know. I just wanted her up. <laughs> I just wanted her up. And I said, Jesus, show up and show off. Come on, what is this? This can't be happening. This is not real. Something not right here. Not right. It's just not right. She never did. I realize that you're from the Apostles' Ministry. This is your church? Yes, sir. You spoke to your pastor and whatnot. Yes, sir. All right. May God give you strength in a time like this. You know? And you know, God, you know, God, the word of God is your strength right now. Yes. Sir. As you only think you give it that strength and that peace. You know? And try to, as, as mom said, you have to relax. You have to relax, Vanessa. Vanessa is your name? Yeah. Vanessa, you have to relax. You have to take it down. Yeah, because I'm okay. This is no. You're okay. You're okay. But we have to be concerned about, you, about, about, about baby being okay too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, article I can't I can't go on because she's pregnant and you know I won't do that. I wouldn't do that. She's yeah, well, you, you heard that side of the story and I can't lose her words. I I am a parent also and oh, sad. It's sad. It's just sad. It is just sad. But if, you know, I spoke to the grandfather earlier on, he said, Ian, come down and see, you know, come down and meet with us and whatnot. And that is what, you know, that's how I ended up here. But it's just sad. And I have a full night tonight. You know? Wow. Good night. Good night.